Alright guys, so we're wrapping up the vault. We got the two items we wanted. We solved the necromancy tome from the beginning of the game. Got a unique spell to summon, uh, I guess, ghouls or whatever. And, uh, and then we just got the book that we need to show to Gale in order to, I guess, continue with the game. So do we go through this portal now, I guess? Let's see where this takes us. Where are we? What are, why do I hear birds and shit? Oh, we're in one of the side rooms up here. Yeah, look. Sorceress Sundry's basement chest key. Should get some rest. I need to keep shop. We are going to rest soon, don't worry. But my question is. Uh how do we get back to where we were? I guess through that, uh. There's mo one more Thay unlocked tied to a quest later. Oh, so we haven't finished it yet? Oh, wow. Can we open this yet? Yeah, the owner of this place is dead now, right? So what happens? Now that he's dead, does it affect anything? <clears throat> These things have stayed interesting. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Right, I'll be on my way. Good. This is the portal. Yep, we're back. Nice walk's still here. But, I don't know what to do. We didn't get those things down there, right? We didn't figure it out. We gotta figure out how to get those items down there. Is there a way to just go down there? No. We jumped down before. But there's no, like, stairwell down. Like, how the fuck do I go down there no normally? Does anyone know how to do this normally? Because... I haven't figured it out, and I want to. I want to get those items down there without wasting a bunch of fucking potions. The floating furniture. What the heck? What are you supposed to do? Just jump on it? That didn't work. Seriously, this is how they wanted you to do it? <laughs> this is... Well, that's dumb. Wow, that is pretty silly. My party members aren't even coming, by the way. They refuse to follow me. And then one of these buttons teleports you down there, but I don't remember which one. One of them does. Ugh. Did that open a door over here? Nope. What did that do? I don't know what that does. Ugh, God damn it. So I gotta fuck with all these buttons till I figure it out. Uh, is it this one? Okay. Uh, I can't seem to examine the force field. Oh, arcane barrier. Invulnerable globe of invulnerability. Great. So how do I disable these barriers to get these items? Looks like there's more below me. I wonder if I would be able to use another potion and jump down another floor and know if there's anything down there, I don't know. But, I don't know. I wanna do this. 
But it says it's invulnerable. You only get one chance to open the barrier. The test is Arcana. Well, it's definitely me who wants to do it, Dan. <clears throat> but I don't, I don't see how. It won't let me. I don't get it. I can't do anything with it. They're not giving me the opportunity to try to open the barrier. How do I do it? There's no button. There's nothing here. Why'd they do it like this? This is stupid. Why can't you just fucking have it be straightforward instead of wasting your time? This is pissing me off now. Is there a potion for, for to get rid of ads on the stream? Yes, it's called the potion of stop whining. <laughs> the potion of stop complaining about every little thing. That's what it's called. <laughs> That's the weave button. I don't know. Wait, why can't I walk? Wait a minute. I can walk. Oh, it's weird. The barriers are very weird and glitchy. You need C invisibility? Oh. I think I have a potion of C invisibility. <clears throat> Here it is. It's called the discarded bottle of wine. I don't know why I have that. Um, I think I have a potion of C invisibility. I have to sort, though. I feel like I have that. <clears throat> I have so many potions, though, and it's hard to know what I have. Ah! Potion of Sea Visibility. Revealed. Above. Oh, it tells you what they do, and here they are. Okay, let's save. Cool. That's neat. How am I going to do this? I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. Wow, I did it. Nice. I got this one at least. Okay. We got that one. So what is this? Robe of the Weave. You gain plus one bonus spells at DC and sack rolls. Whenever a wearer succeeds, uh, succeeds a saving throw against the spell, they regain hit points. Oh, this is good. I'm going to wear this. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the wear the robe of the weave, for sure. Well, that changes my look. I'm gonna have to color this. Robe of the weave. All right, now we have to do this one. Save again. It's a great staff. Now watch me not get it. Watch, I'm gonna get fucked. I'm gonna get fucked. I'm not gonna get it. And it's gonna suck because I did all this work for it, and they're gonna I'm gonna roll like a two. I'm done. Yep, there's no way to get it. Wait, I got it! I got a perfect 20! Oh my god! It was meant to be! It was meant to be! What is it? The Marco What the fucker heard of it? The Marco Hesker. You gain plus one bonus to spell, say DC, and spell attack rolls. Arcane Battery. Alleviate the arcane burden of spell casting with the power of the staff. The next spell you cast won't cost a spell slot. Kareska's Favor. Level 4 Evocation Spell. Wow. 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 Wow.
legendary staff. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now I need to recolor this thing though. It doesn't look good. The color is bad. Let's recolor it right now. What the fuck? I'm stuck in this menu. Where are my coloring dies? Wow. Lush Burgundy. Why would I try to color a fucking scroll? What do you think? I like the burgundy and it matches my cloak. I don't like that the arms is like orange. I'll wear it. Fuck it. I'll wear it. I'll wear it. Alright, we're good. We're done. We've done everything here now. We can get out of here, right? Wow. Security. Wow. Look at this fucking staff on my back, dude. Oh my god. It's insane. Vaults. We already did the vaults. Fuck. What's this stupid thing? You think blue or green's better? We could recolor. We, if we have, we'd have to recolor the whole outfit. Including the cape as well. But we have a million uh, pigments now. Clean up. Clean up? What does that do? I don't understand. Clean up? This is annoying. Did I even get that chest over there? No. Fucking cloud kill, god damn it. So we have to climb back up these fucking furniture to get out of here? I'm cursed with whispers of madness? What? How? How do you even see that? How would I see if I'm cursed with whispers of madness? Oh, I see it. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Can't reach the destination. What the fuck? I'm standing right next to him. Okay. Whispers of madness gone. Still breathing. I don't know why I had, I had madness. Alright, we're out of here. Well, that was an interesting jaunt today. All the magic stuff we just did. Wait, I can't... Oh, cool. I jumped it. Jumped the railing. Alright, are we good? I will return to camp shortly. I just need a moment to... To... What's going on? She's lost her mind. After she killed him, she's not losing her mind. Well, that's not good. By the way, how do I leave? Uh, How do I leave? The portal's not here. What the hell? There it is. Come back, dear patron. Remember that the How is his projection still here if he's fools, dead? Then again, his time, well, Gale's projection was there when he was dead, right? Let your knowledge determine your path forward. So they have no idea that the owner's dead. We killed them. Alright, what we need to do... We need to, number one, go back to camp. Right? I'm gonna recolor this outfit. In camp, we're gonna give Gale the book. We're gonna see if 
if Dame Aelin's all right. We're gonna do a lot of stuff here, right? But first, let's recolor this outfit. We have like a blue or green. Let's see what we got. Purple, light blue, lime lemon and lichen, burgundy. That's what I used. Red, mellow fruit, mellow fruit. Ocean, maybe ocean, orange, pale green, pale pink, harlequin black and white, green, maroon, maroon, green and, I don't know what fair wild green and done is. I have a ton of them, but I don't know what that means. Custard and rose, dark amethyst, deep lilac, lilac should be like pink or purple. Black and Azure. Black and Furnace Red. Black, black and Green Summer. Baby Blue and Gold. Baby Blue and Gold. First, I'm going to try Ocean. Where was Ocean? I'm going to try Ocean first. Great. We're going to change the... the well, actually, that's not bad because the cloak still matches the gloves, right? I don't know if I like that. What about... Baby blue and gold? That would match his eyes. Oh! Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. I actually kind of like that. Alright. But now what I need to do is I need to change the cloak to match, too. So maybe if I do baby blue and gold on the cloak... What cloak does he have on? It's, it's elemental absorption, right? No, I don't know what he's wearing. I don't know which cloak he has on. Cloak of Elemental Absorption. Okay. Oh, yeah. It all matches now. Now we just need the gloves. And then it's a full ensemble. Cool. All right, we're good. Look at that. Now that looks dope. Wow, he looks totally different now. He, the, even the staff matches. Sweet. Wow. This is my my end game outfit. What are you still doing here? I want you out. Don't you get it? Something on your mind? Yeah. What are you doing here? You know exactly what's on my mind. Florga cost us in the lower city. What in the hell did you tell her? Why only the truth? That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city. So eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? Dead. Alive no thanks to you, I convinced her to stand down. What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son. Perhaps. I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. I want you out of here now. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want, but I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half-devil, of course. She's a half-devil. Okay. 
She's not really a demon. She's a half devil. All right, where is Gale? We got to give him this book, and uh, and see how what that leads to. Where the hell is he? Is Gale? <laughs> I don't know where he is. Uh. Hopefully this alert leads to research about the the crown, right? That was why we were doing that. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> the annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Give it to him. I like how it rendered itself on the fly while he was holding it. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. The design for self-destruction more like than this crown killed Carsus, right? Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate. And, for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. To what end? We already know the crown's dangerous. What would make things worse, you think? What happens if you fail? That crown has caused chaos. We should be seeing a way to destroy it. I'm making it more powerful. Just say the generic one. To what end? To every end you can imagine. And a thousand more beyond. He put the book in his ass. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last. Would be free of doctrine and dogma. Confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you. The gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. You dismiss my entire pantheon so easily. Not all gods are selfish. You think Mistra will let you do this? Mortals are far better guardians of their fates than the gods we have more to lose. Let's say that. Well, how will Mistra react, right? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice. But to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. <laughs> She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Casas's successor. I thought you were past this kind of temptation. You know exactly where overreaching leads. Or to destroy the next wizard who attempts it. The attempt would kill you as it killed Karsis. I'll say you believe yourself to be that successor? Not until this moment. But I can't help beginning to see such a destiny unfold before me. Hmm. Powerful as he was, Karsis lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra. Intimately. And I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Cast has achieved many things. Hmm. But he never managed that. Long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please. At least think on it. This is crazy. By the way, Darzyx says for reference, Ao is the god of gods, aka the D and D devs basically writing the story. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Do you trust Gale to use this crown to take control of the gods at the end of the game? I mean, what the hell? Now, this is bullshit because both of these are the same answer. They're Both of these are the same option, right? I don't like this. They're both the same option. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him for along with it for now, but I'm not necessarily gonna do it at the end of the game. But I'm gonna act like I am. 
I'm glad you can recognize this for the opportunity it is. Nevertheless, not a step to take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. Right, that I agree. With. A devil wielding <clears throat> the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, uh, hi. Gee, thanks, Elminster. By the way, we went into his vault. Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull durian. <laughs> Yeah, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. Like you just appeared out of thin air. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Absolutely nothing. Uh, what the hell? Nice camera angle. What am I looking at? A chocolate bar from Extreme Close-Up? Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Someone smashed, like, a Hershey bar in your face. Ooh! We found the annals of Karsis. You don't seem all that surprised to see Gil alive and well. Nothing in particular charms. We know how Karsis made his crown and Gil's going to reforge it. Let's just say you don't seem surprised that Gil is alive and well. I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Cassos is pestilent. <laughs> Bulgarian chocolate bars. <laughs> the very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit. Nor demand it lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Uh, Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Storm oh. Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Really? You should meet her? What? Why am I looking at the chocolate bar again? You should meet her, Gail. She might be able to help you. You really think Mr. will be willing to hear Gail out? Mr. has done Gail enough harm. Sounds good to me. You really think Mr. would be willing to hear Gail out? Okay, talking, Kirshi Bar. I see remaining optimistic as my duty. Especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. And so he disappears. Okay. <clears throat> So all it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. <laughs> it's obvious when you stop to think about it. What do you think she wants to say? How could she possibly know we read a book? Doesn't she have more important things to worry about? The Weave is a highly sensitive, magical network threaded through all life on this plane. Any shift in magical energy, no matter how small, is akin to a beacon alerting Mistra to its cause. Opening a book like the Annals of Carsus was akin to us shooting a firework spelling look at us, Mistra, directly into the skies of Elysium. She knows. Okay. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. We can just do it now? Okay. After you. How does this work? How do you go to Stormshore Taber Tabernacle? I don't know how to do that. Where the hell is that? I have no clue. Is there anything else to do here? 
Oh, Stormshore Tabernacle. Well, I guess that's it. We long rest now. Okay. There's a church in town called it. Oh, okay. Stormshore Tabernacle. Tabernacle. I couldn't say it. Stormshore Tabernacle. Where you'll find gold grind. He's dead again. <laughs> Don't ever forget about gold grind. Even though he's dead, he's not forgotten. Gold grind at the moment, Tabernacle Choir. What? <laughs> okay, what is going on? Is she okay? Ah, uh, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. Hopefully he'll be the last. There are always more bastards behind bastards. But we will run through them all, each by each. Enjoy the spoils of your victory. Spin memories of Leroican's death in your mind like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Oh, uh, what news? Indeed. They're getting married. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. <laughs> they faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. <clears throat> Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. Okay, so they're leaving for we now and they come at the end of the game. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. All right, now get out of my fucking place. This is what I want. I want everyone out. All you freeloaders, out. Get out. Come help me in the final fight. I'm not going to give you shit right now. Okay, they're gone. Good, they're leaving. They never paid for anything. They just ate and drank and slept. It's like bullshit. Okay. <clears throat> um, Dark Gaming says, if you didn't deal with the sorcerer, you mean, what's his name, Lorican? He eventually would send mercenaries to attack your camp. Oh, so he's an asshole. Where are they going? Wait a minute, they're doing this again? They're going to walk in a circle? And not realize where the door is? The door's right there. The door's right there. Where are you going? The door is right there. I don't know. <laughs> what a nice bed. The only thing is, did you notice he's not using the pillow? He has the pillow on the other end out where his feet. It's not supposed to be a foot pillow. It's supposed to be for your head, you dummy. <laughs> Maybe he can't use it because he's a dragon. He has all these friggin' uh, spikes that would pierce the pillow and send the stuffing flying everywhere. Oh, look, they moved now. Yeah, see? <clears throat> now that uh, now that they're not in here anymore, these guys are kind of hanging out. All right. Well, what are you going to do? Gold grind. Oh, will you? Will we find you again, Gold Grind? Or are you already dead and buried? Perhaps they cremated your body and threw the ashes into the sewers where you belong. Gold Grind. <clears throat> so should we do the big feast now? Hold on. What's next? Heroes feast. You can't be poisoned, diseased, or frightened. The HP increases, and you get wisdom saves. Beast! Beast! I don't even remember why we have this. Okay. Beast and Long Strider? What's Long? Who has Long Strider? I don't know who has long strider. What the fuck? What are they doing? Why are they doing it? They just hit this poor person. They wait a minute, that's a Starian! They hit a Starian! Wait a minute! 
Wait a minute. You hit a Sterian, you fuckers. You owe me an apology. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Salamander? <laughs> Great, isn't it? These are just cantrips. I can keep this up all day. You hit me with your spell. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the verily, uh, behold and stuff. Just like Astando the Greater says. Wow, who's Astando the Greater? You? Behold the sacred illuminations of the mysterious ancients. Back off, Chop. You're too close. Do you want to lose your eyebrows? You already hit me. What a jerk. So there's no point in doing that. We don't have a quest for it. Alright, so where are we going? Oh, here it is. Meet with Mistra in the sh sh Storm Shore Tabernacle. Do we have enough time to do this? If we do have enough time to do this, then I'll do it. But I guess I have to go back and get Gale in the party, right? It's quick? Okay. This is it right here? Alright, uh... So we gotta go back to camp and swap. It's just a conversation, not a dungeon. Okay. Scratch has something for me. Hold on. The dog wags his tail. A small bag clenched between his teeth. Uh, where does he get all these bags from? Excuse me, by the way. Where does he get all these bags from? He gives in and surrenders his fine An team. iron bowl? How did you fit an iron bowl in a Scratch's pouch? Scratch's tongue lolls out <clears throat> happily, his tail wagging even faster. Thanks so much for the iron bowl. All right, where's Gale? Here he is. We gotta get him in the party. <clears throat> How can I help? I'd like you to meet me at Mistress Shrine. We should, we, here we go. We should hear what she has to say. <clears throat> of course. Oh, so he's going to go there and meet us there. Okay. Don't push us. This watcher has a short temper. Here he is. Okay. Let's save. Let's see what happens. Here we go. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? No. Gale's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. This looks like someone turned on like like moonlighting or something. Stream like. Look, strobe lights. Pure undiluted oh. weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a goddess waiting. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. You're ready for this, Gale. You don't owe her so much as a fingernail. She asked you to blow yourself up. I don't think she's that kind of goddess. All right. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. <clears throat> right. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. 
know what you're going to say? Of all the things to be nervous about, an audience with a goddess seems reasonable. Why do you care what she thinks of you? There you go. No doubt you yourself have sought Mistress Wisdom from time to time. But to not only receive her blessings, but her love it was intoxicating. An experience beyond expression. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. <laughs> oh boy. You're not taking me with you? Seek her forgiveness. It might be your only hope of curbing the, curing the orb. Make her squirm? Don't give anything away. Find out what she has to say. Oh, man. I don't know. <clears throat> You're not taking me with you? The summoning channel <laughs> Mistra has provided is for me alone. No one else is permitted to enter it. No matter how talented a user of the weave they are. Man, I don't know. What do you do? Right? Just find out what she has to say. Don't say anything else. Don't tell her about the crown, obviously. Right? It's either going to be secret forgiveness or don't give her anything away. It's one or the other, right? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if they'll affect anything if I tell him one or the other, right? I don't know if it'll actually change what he says or if it'll change his outcome. I have no clue. Hmm. You don't tell her about the crown, and you're not that. It's got to be one or three. Can, will she cure the orb, do you think? I don't think so. It would be nice if she did, but I don't think she's going to. Hmm. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know what to say or do. Hmm. If only I had a magic eight ball. <laughs> right? Don't have it anymore. Don't give anything away. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Hmm. Wait for me. Please. What's gonna happen? Okay. Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Carsis. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you're a bitch. Because you had no right to ask that See? of me. You cast me out. Remember. You were my lover, my chosen, yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no yeah. more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. 
that it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Mm -hmm. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. <sighs> choices, choices, choices. Many choices coming up. That statue looks nothing like her face, by the way. At all. Not even close. I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the Absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. What are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? What do you suggest? You're driving the whole blowing yourself up thing? You think I'll just forget about that? I'll say, what do you suggest? We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. Sorcerer's Sundry. Wait, we already did this! Trading post. What the hell? It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of Dude, it's glitch. The dialogue's glitch. We already did this. Yeah. Place, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed It's away. fucked up. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the, the quest line is glitch. Yeah. The quest line's glitch. So now what even happens with this quest line, right? I don't even know. What's the next step of this quest line? Gil met with Mistra in the outer plane. She told him of the true nature of the orb that is the Carsite Weave, a half form magic created by Carsis when he sought to become the god of magic. Mistra asked that Gil seize the crown and return it to her in exchange for which she rid him of the orb. Claim the crown for himself, though, and the Carsite Weave would answer to him. So there you go. That's it. So the quest just ends now until the end of the game when you get the crown and then you make a decision. Yeah. Okay. So, the dialogue was screwed up, but the quest continues on correctly, from what I can tell. Alright, well, we had we did the entire Magic Tower quest line, got a bunch of good items today. And why don't we do this next? Right? Why don't we investigate the Hag Survivors and see what that's all about? Because we fought the Hag in, in Act 1. And if you remember, we found an actual um, a communication between the Hag and someone else. Someone in Baldur's Gate is the Hag's sister. And so the Hag has family here. It's like, well, wait a minute. Does that mean there's another Hag? Or does that mean there's just a family member that doesn't look like the Hag but has magical powers? Do you remember that? Hazelnut. The fucking kid's name is Hazelnut? The kid's name is Hazelnut. Like you, 
So the hag stuff is this way? Yeah, we're going the right way. Uh, whoa, someone broke this robot. Someone stole the stuff. What a shame. We're almost there. So I wonder what the tie is. Will we find another family member of the hag here in Balter's? Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. On the half orc's finger, you notice an unusual ring. Heavy and with a strange symbol carved on its surface. Scuttle away, lizard. Before I cut off your tail. Look closer to the ring and try to recall the symbol's meaning. Nice! You recall seeing this symbol on crates marked for Nine Fingers Keen, leader of the guild. The thug works for her. Oi! Stop staring! Oi! Start walking! Last chance! Deception, intimidation, persuasion. I'll tell Nine Fingers you refuse to let me pass. She's very unhappy. You're here to see Nine Fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscron. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. To come, I'll take you to the guild hall. I don't want to do this. I wasn't doing this. No. <laughs> uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Hold on. Before we go, I gotta take a nice steamy dragon dump. We're not doing that. Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. Locked. Now wait a minute. What a day. It doesn't say we can't lock pick it. It's not red. With pleasure. Hag support group poster. Eviction notice. I had it. Snowstorms inside the house. Blood weeping from the windows. Now Mr. Wimbley's cat is vomiting up frogs. The poor man had a bloody heart attack from the shop. I know you lot are trying to fight back against hags or whatever, and that's great. Honestly, I can't risk the neighborhood just because you were stupid enough to piss off a hag. Keep your rent. I want you all out by tomorrow. We've done it. It took sweat, blood, and tears, but we've done it. We know how to kill a hag. Me, myself, and Adriel at Old Garlow's. This will change everything. Old Garlow's? Hag research notes. Random collection of book titles, ingredients, and combinations. A barely legible letter? Dear Mrs. Ms. Adriel, Cled found a place. A nice old man called Mr. Garlow used to live here, but his neighbor said he doesn't live here anymore. Cled thinks it's perfect. We can hide from the hag or fight. Whatever you think is a good idea. Cled knows you will have a good plan. Cled will wait at Old Garlow's. Bye, Cled. What's Old Garlow's? <clears throat> there it is. Well, we've got more stuff to do. Good lord. We have so many quests to do in this game. It's ridiculous, right? We've still got this firework factory to investigate. we got this this mission about the hag survivors. Apparently, they're still being, you know, attacked by a hag if they're getting all this magic shit happening to them. Uh, we still didn't meet the Diabolus yet to go to the house of whatever it's called. House of Hope. 
and get the hammer to free to get the Yankee Prince. Uh, we still gotta find Cazador's place and take out Cazador, right? We didn't finish with the Blushing Mermaid at all. We gotta go back there. We didn't do the Steel Watch quest, but I feel like that's a later one. Like, that's what you do before you're gonna do the quest against what's his name? Fuckface. I forget his name. It starts with a G. Gendry, is it? Or Fuckface? I forget his name. Man. There's so much to do in this game. I don't know if we're ever gonna beat it at this rate. But, a great day where we did the entire Magic Tower. Got, you know, all different resolutions to different quests, which is kind of cool. Do you remember the artist that you freed? He said he'd meet you at Baldur's Gate. Yes, I do. He was in the underground tunnel with those uh, those bandit guys, and then we basically got his free, secured his freedom. Remember that? I remember that. Okay. What a time we have had here, huh? I wonder how many hours did the playthrough is. I don't even know. I think we're over 110 hours now. I'm pretty sure we are. Delete all these saves to make more room. And there'll be more of this coming later in the week. I'm undetermined if I want to play this twice or if I want to do Final Fantasy VII twice coming up. So I may do two more streams of this this week or not. I'm almost thinking maybe I should because we are closer to finishing this than anything else besides maybe like a dragon. We're kind of tied. So maybe I actually should play more of this this week in order to get further in, you know, and we can wrap it up more quickly. So we'll see. But anyway, there will be more of this coming later in the week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, man, next time around, I think we're going to do this hag quest, see where this leads, and go from there. All right, so thank you all. Great stuff today. Thank you so much for the support, obviously. And I will see you next time on Baldur's Gate 3.